In this family, we have a very simple way of solving disagreements. We compete over and over and over. I think we got the winner right here, huh? This body is my temple. I ain't putting that crap in this temple. So why do you boys have to make everything a competition? Mm-hmm. Run your mouth. Go ahead. I don't need baskets. That's what women do. But it looks good on you. There's no shortcuts when it comes to winning. You don't have a recipe. I'm a box. And the winner is... What is that noise? Oh, that's his stomach. He's been doing that for an hour. I'm about to starve to death. Boy, does that remind me. Hey, in oh. Vietnam, they cook up something that's like a fortune cookie, OK? But it's sweet. Were they like donuts? They was the Vietnam version of a donut. Were they hot? Yeah. A hot donut is one of life's wonders. Well, they just slide down your mouth. You know? Suck them. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good night of living. If they passed a law saying the only way you can continue to eat hot donuts is if you shave your beard, it's good by beer. What's the difference in hot or cold? There's something about it. Cold ones, I get six. Hot ones, I get 48. 40. <laughs> <laughs> That's the difference, OK? Now, look, they got a new donut shop that just opened down here. Oh, yeah, right up the road. We're going to ride down there, and I'm going to tell them I want a hot donut. Amen. Let's do it. We need a field trip. Let's go! We gotta sort this out. I don't discriminate between hot or cold. I just eat them. He's not a donut connoisseur. Here we go. I fixed to prove a point to y'all. Mm-hmm. What in the world? You went a free camper for some donuts? It's been there all week. You wanna sell some donuts? You back a camper in there and give it away. There'll be rednecks come out of rocks, caves, and mountaintops to eat your donuts. Look at here, when a camper. Is that for real? That's for real. The drawings today, we'll even deliver it. This is redneck society at its finest. Look here, if they're hot, I'll eat more than all three of y'all. What are you talking about? <laughs> hot or cold, I'll eat more than you, hey, son. I you got 20 this? bucks to say oh, I eat I'll more donuts I'll than take all that three of I'm in on that. Here you go, right there. There ain't no way you can eat more than I can. We'll start off with a dozen apiece and go from there. Open us a tab. Oh, yeah. You wouldn't think, looking at me, at my physique, but hey, look, I'm like a small nuclear plant. That's just my metabolism, OK? Ready, set. Go. Here we go. Oh, they are hot. Good, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's good right there. That's the best donut I've had today. Looks like y'all are doing pretty good. I'm going to check on the next batch for y'all. All right. Oh, yeah. The eating contest begins. Three on. I look around. Gawain is inhaling one right after another. Martin's over there sucking down chocolate milk just to keep him down. And Si looks as cool as a cucumber, slow and steady. Just. That's when I realized, oh yeah, I have met my match. I have to admit, I may be in trouble. I'm about to die. Hey, boys, I'm just getting started. This is just an appetizer. Where are you putting like, things, in your pocket? All right, no. Hey, look here, you boys are a bunch of pansies. I'm on 22. Where are you at, son? I'm going 29. I could do this in my sleep, you know? Hey, thinking about that, hey, I could use a good nap. This is number 32. Oh, I'm going to bow out at 27. That's all I got. Yeah. I can't do it. I'm done. You boys crying, Uncle? It ain't worth $20 for me to go puke my guts out. Oh. All right, boys. You won, sir. Congratulations. I beat that contest. Now I'm fixing to win that camper. Where's that lady at? Right there. Huh? And hey, look here. With this 80 bucks, I'm fixing to parfait this into some serious cash. It's either bet big or go to the house, Jack. Give me, you know, whoa, 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 no. I'll hand me. <laughs> yeah. I'm in, I'm in no shape to be catching 50-pound boxes because I have a weight distribution problem right now. We are suffering from a condition called donut stupor. I hope this makes me throw up. Look at my belly. When you put large quantities of digested donuts in motion, your body becomes a ticking time bomb. Ugh. And then it just <laughs> falls apart. Yeah, take care. Ah. Them look heavy. Yeah, they're heavy. You lazy right. rascal, won't you help oh. us? <laughs> <laughs>
Why are you laughing at the old coot? <laughs> Why is he laughing? He going crazy? He's delirious. <laughs> Do me the oh. donuts. <laughs> Look right here. You have got to be kidding me. You from the donut shop? I am. Hey, that's what I thought. Which one of you is Silas? Oh, hey, that'd be me, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look here, I've always been lucky. I'm talking about, hey, penny on head, inside a horseshoe. You gonna need these right here? Uh -huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> on top of a four-leaf clover. Hey, my money paid for that. So did mine. No. And rolled up with the leprechaun. Hey, I'll see you suckers later. All right, enjoy your new pad. Oh, I plan on it. Mm. Hey, you still got to make reads. Hey! Every year, the Robertsons get together, and we do a men versus women cook-off. The men have actually never won. Where did you get this recipe? Well, this has been in my family since the Pioneer days. They had Duck Commander seasoning in the Pioneer days? Well, no, but they would have used it if they had it. That's right. I'm sure. That's, it. That's I'm sure. right. This cook-off, we take this extremely serious, and if you don't, and you're gonna get snuffed out of the family and out of the cook-off. What about the guys? Have we heard anything from them? I looked Wait, out there earlier. Are they in here? They've not, no, they've not even started. Oh my goodness. Yes. Oh, we have this. They're, they have to get penalty points if they're If they're not there in time. That's right. The men, they're just sitting out there being leisurely. Well, let them do it. I'm glad we have UK. I know, we're on the winning team. The That's obvious right. advantage. I know what the judge likes. I mean, I've been cooking for him for years. Well, they got oil's about ready. Put that sucker in there. You gotta prep it, son. Phil's the judge every year. And Kay's been cooking for Phil for 50 years. How are you gonna beat him? I got a little surprise this year. Boys, I'm pretty much sure that this will win the competition. There are a few things in this world that frying can't make delicious. I have yet to find one. Si, what are you doing? I'm getting the secret ingredient. What is boy. that? Oh. Herbs, boys. You got to inject oh it in my that. Oh, gosh. Hey, ah, si, ah, si, you made that? that? Yeah, right. I made that. Special blend there, son. Hey, there's one special ingredient. When it cooks in a turkey, it turns the meat where it will just melt in your mouth. What was in there? It smelled like kerosene and sour oh, milk. Well, you had to have a little touch of kerosene in there, son. How are you still alive? But I can't tell you what it was because I, then you wouldn't let me use it. It's a secret, you know? Massage I can't my believe turkey. you ain't gonna put this in there. This is a competition, so We want to win. Yeah. I don't base my turkey with something that looks like motor oil. That's just a general rule. Well, you gonna keep patting it or you gonna put it in the grease? One more little massage right on the neck. You gotta treat a turkey like you would your lady friend. You gotta take your time. You gotta season it just right. And when she's ready, splatter a bunch of mustard all over and massage her up. You wouldn't put my special injection in there and you're sitting there massaging a turkey's neck. You done lost your mind. Ease it in yep. there. You gotta be careful doing that. All right, that may be sizzling. Full immersion. That is a turkey baptism, boys. Temperature's right, Tom. It's sort of hard having Dad as a ref. He doesn't even own a watch. As soon as the sun clears that big tree there. That's tough when he's in charge of a timed event. All right, let's see it. Oh, oh that looks good. I'm talking seat. about. Oh, 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 oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah ben. All right, here comes the gals. They got that big iron punch. I think we got the winner it right here, good. huh? It looks good. Finally, I think we're going to beat the girls this year. I've already written the first draft of my acceptance speech in my mind. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. It's just us. What are you screaming for? You want a mic? <laughs> There's no one here but us. It's got to be a big deal. We have two wonderful birds here. Now, the Honorable Judge Phil is going to judge, as always. It's an awkward situation for Phil, because a judge is supposed to be unbiased. Submission number one. But he's married to the chief opponent, so he's put in a quandary, thus the blindfold. He's going back. Hey, he's going second back. Bite. Second, second bite. Second bite. It's unfair to wait. Submission number two. Because they've got the Bay roof of cooks in their camp, all right? That'd be Miss Marsha K. Robertson. Looks mm -hmm. like he's enjoying it. Mm -hmm. That was good. It all comes down to this. All our hopes and dreams are sitting right there behind Phil's bearded palate. Flags, please. Flags, please. This is number one. This is number two. And the winner is... Mm -hmm. Suspense. Mm -hmm. All right, come on. Mm -hmm. Yay! Yeah! I've lived with Phil all my life, so if food is the language, I know how to speak it. It was a beauty contest. 
Well, we've lost again. We cannot beat the women. I think Cy si snuck that syringe in that turkey somehow. That's the only thing that would make sense. Let's see. Let's get after it. <laughs> well spoken, Kay. Well spoken. <laughs> Jeff, did you get one of them smart watches? Yes. 62 degrees today. My watch tells me how many steps I take. I'm surprised there's not an alarm going off <laughs> <laughs> saying, not enough. Not enough. Not Shit. enough. I walked a lot of steps today, OK? And now I'm going to reward myself with eating cornbread. <laughs> Mom's cornbread. Ooh, I'll have some of that. Oh, it is the best in the world. Nope. So who's is better? Missy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you say Missy? Yes. Have you lost your mind? Look, it's pretty much impossible to make better cornbread than my mom. But I'm here to tell you that the impossible has happened. Mom's was the best. And now Missy has ascended to the queen of cornbread. I don't even know what's happening to you. Sorry, Mom. You're still the queen of meatloaf. Nobody's arguing that. Once you eat Missy's cornbread, there's no going back. <laughs> you can keep living in the Matrix as long as you want to, son. This is the best cornbread. Shh. Jessica's ain't bad. It's got flaxseed, something weird in it. Shh, it's pretty good. Flaxseed? Does it have cheese and bacon? No. Well, then it tastes like crap. I know what good cornbread is. Can't handle the truth. What? Oh. Hey, boys. You're talking about warped. What are you talking about? What? Missy makes the greatest cornbread oh my oh, gosh. that has ever been made, no. and their mind won't even entertain the, the idea. The greatest cornbread Jace, ever it's over. made. Ever. Yeah. Ever. That means you have to have tasted have every cornbread that. that has ever been made Which for is you a to lie. say. Don't get me wrong. I'm flattered that my husband loves my cornbread so much. So why do you boys have to make everything a competition? I don't understand. Because that's because... how you become the greatest. I mean, you can't really determine the greatest cornbread. Oh, yeah, you can. Everyone yes, you can. likes different oh, yeah. things. But to start a full-on family war, it's a little extreme. But too thick of cornbread is always dry. That's right. Yeah. That's right. So thinner, better. I disagree with the thin thing, but Everybody makes their no. own the no, way but there they can like be it. the best. I think it's okay to say this is the best cornbread ever. In but your I, personal I in your opinion. It no. Yes. No. no. I mean, I don't want cornbread to be the reason why we don't spend Christmas together this year. Look, you make your cornbread, we'll get an unbiased judge to come in, and this will be simple. Then it'll be we will know who's the best is. What That's if what we don't we do. want to? I can see why you don't want to. Yeah, me too. This? Oh. I mean, hey. yeah. Uh. See? <laughs> this is how you achieve greatness. But That's who cares about being the greatest? I'll make my cornbread. Can't win unless you're in the game. I guess I'm in then. Fine. Count me in. Welcome to the first annual cornbread cook-off that should settle everything so it'll actually be the last. Thank you, last, well. yes. I promise to tell the truth to my best ability and use my taste buds accordingly to check this cornbread out and taste it right. I now pronounce you man and cornbread. <laughs> All right. OK, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Take it easy. Here is the moment right. of truth. Mm. That, that one got a mm. bowl number two. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm. Uh oh, that, that one kind of got a growl. Oh, that one got an eyebrow. Yeah, that got a growl and an eyebrow. Last but not least, bowl number three. Mm. Bad mm. Hurry up. Let's yeah. go. Mm. And the winner is. Well, according to my taste buds, to the best of my taste bud knowledge. Mm. I'm getting wrinkles. Yeah, you gotta choose one. Mm. It's a tie between bowl oh, number no, one no, and bowl number three. There's no ties. He's a judge. Pick one. He's the judge. He mm, said there's a not a judge. He's a air conditioner repair guy. This whole cornbread debacle got way out of hand. Picking favorites in any family is a recipe for disaster. Unbiased opinion. Mountain Man, do you like the cornbread? 
I like these two here. This and there, he can, he ain't no good. He use that on your trap. So rather than letting cornbread cause any more problems, the ladies and I decided to take matters into our own hands. We have a confession Please. to make. Mm. It's my cornbread. We all made my recipe. You don't have a recipe. Out of a box. Mm. <laughs> I saw it right off, boys. That ain't cornbread. He liked it. Tastes like crap out, man. Doesn't even taste oh, good. Oh, that's delicious. I use my best taste buds on this. What are you doing? Hmm, working on my newest idea. Willie's Quack Shack. Oh. Awesome burgers. <laughs> good sides. Good times. I make the best burger in this town. I just don't sell them. But I should. And I will. Two words. Early retirement. In town? You don't make the best burger in our family. What? I got two words for you. Food poisoning. All right, between me and Jace, who makes hey, the best I burger? I have to eat one from both of you. Fair enough. I'll take him on. Captain, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Duck Commander's first annual burger cook-off. Why what? are you yelling? Hey, I'm announcing. Nobody's here. It's just us. Well, I know. I'm announcing all. I'm getting into it. Well, just do it oh, softer. OK. What are you cooking? I'm calling this my Willie Super Stack. Let me guess. It's fattening. As an older brother, Jace has always acted like he's better at everything. I've got the avocado, cheeses, jalapeno peppers. Why do you have eggs? He's a better hunter. He's a better burger chef. That's my secret ingredient. <laughs> One time, he even told me that he was better at flipping channels. <laughs> I got ground up ribeye. What are you using pans for? Don't underestimate the value of That's a pan. That's so rookie, dude. On your mark. Get set. Get ready. Uh-oh. Si, turn that stupid watch off. Hey. It's distracting. <laughs> Y'all go ahead and start. I got to fix this watch. Getting a little too hot. Well, these are looking good. How's that pan working, Jace? Oh, it's working like a charm. You smell that? No. It's the smell of champions. They both smell like burnt hamburger to me. To me. Uh huh. Oh. Jace, let me borrow one of your pans. Then he cooked this egg. You were ragging my pan, and now you want to borrow it? Would Batman give the penguin his Batmobile? You can't use any of my stuff. Would Hacksaw Jim Duggan give King Kong Bundy his two before? Five minutes. Just let me borrow it. This is a competition. Shh. Would I give a duck a bulletproof vest? Of course not. There you go, boys. That's the Willy Super Stack. I've created the ultimate burger. It's got everything on it. That's a big burger. Just climb up on top of it, fat boy, and do your business. It's never good to insult the judges. Fat people can call other people fat. That's OK. I would like to present to you the winning burger. Oh. All right, let's start with my burger first. Get it on there, Gavin. Ah, no, 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 no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Clearly, this is going to be a landslide victory. Now it's time to try my burger. The Jace burger, it's a lot like me. See, look, it's easily handled. It's not real fancy. Yeah, because it's burnt. Doesn't have a lot of fat content. That looks like it came out of the Sahara Desert. Simple, perhaps. There's the beauty. <laughs> hey. Mm? Yeah. Hit me with it. <laughs> what? Oh. What are you doing? I think it's just a hair overcooked. They both lose. Ain't either one of them edible. Si, you going to try it? No. Hey, this body is my temple. I ain't putting that crap in this temple. Yeah. Well, that was stupid. Let's go to the creamer and get some real burgers. I'm down with that. I'm paying. I'm on timers. Sash. Get ready. Get set. Go. Sash, yeah. out of this family, who makes the best burger? Phil. Besides Phil, who makes the best burger? Kate. All right, between me and Jace, Look, who makes hey, the best I burger? I have to eat one from both of you. Fair enough. I'll take him on. In a burger cook-off? Yeah. This does not surprise me a bit that Willie and Jace are competing over cooking burgers because they've been competing all their life. I make better burgers than you. Fine. We'll cook burgers. Me against you. Hopefully this won't end in a fist fight or something worse like a grill branding. What are you cooking? I'm calling this my Willie Super Stack. Let me guess. It's meat that came from a tube. 
I got ground up ribeye. Jace's ribeye or Willie's meat in a tube, that's a toss up. Like, toss your cookies. Have you ever heard the saying, less is more? When Willie gets into a competition, he just totally forgets that. And then it's all about more is more. I've got the avocado, cheeses, jalapeno peppers. Why do you have eggs? That's my secret ingredient. And more is not always better. Where do you grab the thing? You should have put a handle on it. There's too much going on. Get it on there, Gavin. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Uh -oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Why did you squeeze it like I couldn't it was open my mouth that big? Here's the obvious problem. If neither Godwin or Martin are eating that burger, well, you know it's terrible. Now it's time to try my burger. Hmm? Yeah. Hit me with it. <laughs> what? Uh -oh. Neither burger was delicious or edible. They both lose. Ain't either one of them edible. Si, you gonna try it? No. Well, that was stupid. Let's go to the creamery and get some real burgers. Like most competitions that Willie and Jace have, it ended badly and nobody won. Basically, we just wasted a whole day. How's that different from any other day?